Hey everybody, welcome to my 23 week pregnancy update for baby number three. Excuse the hair and everything that's going on. It's been crazy busy like I say every week, but since last week, I know last week in my vlog I said we're going to look at houses. I'm not sure if we're gonna find something. A lot of the places we wanted to look at were selling before we could even look at them. But I am so excited to let you guys know that that evening we actually decided to put an offer on a house. Um, when I filmed that video. So since then, it's been a complete week. We have um, negotiated, bought the house, and removed subjects. So it's crazy. We've bought a house. Um, so this awful situation of having to move out of the house that we're renting has luckily turned out for the best. I'm so incredibly grateful that, that we had this opportunity and that we found um, what I think will be the perfect house for us for a long, long time to come. Hopefully we won't have to move for a very long time. And the moving date was set today actually for December 13th, which is just under two weeks, yeah, just under two weeks away. So in the next couple of weeks here, I'm packing like mad. My schedule, you guys should see it. It's literally jam packed from morning to night. Pretty much every hour of my day is accounted for, which is why it's difficult to even film videos at this point. But I do wanna keep up with these weekly vlogs even throughout the moving process. Um, just hopefully I can get them done. They might not be on the same timeline, but hopefully I can get them done. But yeah, I am so excited and so darn relieved to say that we bought a house and um, that we're gonna have a place to live and it's gonna be a permanent place to live and our kids will be able to remain in the same school once we move, that is. Um, we have to move them from the school they're currently in, which they're um, Kayla Moore, so she's in kindergarten, she's pretty upset about, but at least this will be the last time. Knock on wood, so yeah. It's kind of the biggest thing that happened this week. What else did I have written down? Um, as far as symptoms, same old. I'm just getting bigger. The sciatic pain gets really bad sometimes, but again, I'm packing boxes and whatnot, so I'm moving more than usual. Um, movement on the outside of my belly. I know I've mentioned this before, but I can videotape it now. I should put up a video because you can see my belly ripple and little elbows or knees or whatever it is poking out and things like that. You can visually see it now all the time. This baby is still super active, so that's just really cool to see. What else did I write down? Comparison photo. So I was looking through my old pregnancy photos with Riley's pregnancy and um, I came across a 22 week photo of her where I was just standing sideways and that's kind of the kind of pictures I take right now so I took one of myself at exactly 22 weeks and I compared them side by side and I put them on my Facebook I just thought it was really interesting I will maybe I'll put it in the video right here so yeah that's the difference between Riley's pregnancy and this pregnancy obviously it's about a 90 pound difference because I lost well probably less now. I lost 90 pounds between the two pregnancies, but in that pregnancy I didn't gain any weight, and this pregnancy I have, so it's probably less than a 90 pound gap. But I just thought it was interesting to see. I notice it the most in my face, um, in my face and my boobs, even though my boobs are ginormous, which is another thing. They keep growing. I went to the um, store this past week to get a new bra, and I wanted one of the ones, the, the ones where you could take the straps off and use it as a strapless if needed, because I am going to be the maid of honor at my sister's wedding, I need a strapless bra, so anyways, I was previously a 34C, that's kind of where I was hovering, and I measured it into 38D, almost double D, so they have definitely grown, um, not just like the boobs, but the band as well, everything is just growing, and it's it's shocking, I knew I did new bras, so I thought that was interesting. What else did I want to mention? I had my midwife appointment today at exactly 23 weeks um, and it went really well. Super fast appointment, nothing nothing too crazy. I talked to her about meet the doula night, which is in a couple weeks. I'm going to go in and uh, just meet all the doulas and talk to them. Still undecided if I want to do it or not, but I talked to them about the fact that I'm moving. They wanted my new address because obviously I'm doing home birth and um, I forgot to tell them that that actually changes my backup hospital based on locations, so I do need to update them on that. They wanted an update on my um, specialist appointment with the general surgeon and the sigmoidoscopy, so I gave them that update on what I think is ul ulcerative colitis, but I'm still waiting on my specialist appointment on that one. What else? We talked about my trip to Mexico in January, and I'm going to see them right before I leave for Mexico, so they'll be able to give me um, 
some paperwork, like a letter that says I can fly, and um, what else? My medical records in case they need it. I did say one interesting thing, I'm just remembering this right now. She said, just know that just because you have good medical coverage for yourself, that doesn't cover the baby in most circumstances. I was like, what? Because we got a really good um, medical insurance plan in case something were to happen, but she says that she's known of people that had their babies early, and then they, the baby needed care, needed to be in the NICU, and the insurance covered mom, but insurance doesn't cover baby which is crazy, I need to look into our policy because if that's true, like, what sense does that make? And I said, can you can you even get an insurance policy for your unborn baby? And she said no, but I don't know, if any of you know anything about that, like, I really hope that's not the case because that's really scary. Obviously, I'm not planning on having my baby early, but you just never know. And if I did have my baby at 30 weeks in Mexico, it'd be in the NICU for quite a while, so that bill would be unimaginable, I'm sure. Let's knock on wood for that one. Uh, what else did we talk about? She talked about because I'm, I'm diagnosed celiac and I know this time that um, they can actually cause growth restriction with babies because baby's not technically getting all the nutrients sometimes. And obviously we didn't know that with my last two pregnancies, but she wants to do another ultrasound at 30 weeks, um, a growth scan ultrasound. I've never had one that late in pregnancy. This pregnancy I just had so many ultrasounds. The last two I only had one each, so at 20 weeks. So I'm going in for a 30 week ultrasound. Sorry, my husband just got home, so I lost my train of thought, but uh, about the ultrasound, it will be at 30 weeks, Jan mid, mid January, I think is what I was trying to say. But yeah, I get to see baby again, which is awesome, because I really want to know if baby's head down by that point. I'd be really curious by then. What else? She went over the signs and symptoms of preterm labor, um, just something they have to go over with you. And I got my forms for my gluco te glucose test. I'm doing the one hour non-fasting glucose test anywhere between 24 and 28 weeks, so anytime soon after the next week. And just usual checking baby, baby was moving around a lot, um, kicking the, the Doppler and stuff like that, so it's hard to find heartbeat. This baby is super active. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for my midwife appointment. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Did my weight, I'm up, what would that be? <laughs> 19 pounds? Yeah, 19 pounds at 23 weeks. Uh, so this past five weeks, I think I'm up six pounds in the past five weeks, which was rather shocking. Not not shocking there because I weigh myself at home, but crazy to say, see on the scale, but I know I'll get it off later and it's all healthy for the baby. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my 23 week update. Crazy as usual. I will have my belly shot at the end here. And I think that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. All right, and here's a 23 week belly from the front. From the side. Getting bigger. Up here I can notice my uterus is about two inches above my belly button now. It's around there. So yeah, that's the 23 week belly.